Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's just pray, commit this time to the Lord, and then uh, we have to start. Okay, let's pray. Uh, Father, we thank you for this time, Lord, that we can, Lord, uh, consider, Lord, all the uh, things that you have created, and consider, Lord, um, the way in which you have uh, placed us, the principles that are there, Lord, in your word, and, um, Lord, the laws that you have put in nature itself, God, we we just amazed your wisdom. And um, yes, Lord, we, we thank you that uh, you are with us and uh, we continue to declare that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And Father, we thank you that you continue to sharpen us, continue to equip us, uh, continue to build us up in the inner man so that we, we can be um, constantly, Lord, going from glory to glory and uh, moving, oh God, uh, to be like you, Father God. We thank you. Thank you for this time. We commit this time into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, anyone remembers what we did last class, last session? Anyone? You can put it in the chat. What did we look at? What did you learn? Any takeaway from what we did in the last session? Listening principles and listening skills and all. Yeah, so listening skills, listening um, uh, and the principles involved in that. Uh, how to be uh, effective uh, in listening, right? And it was all linked to uh, communication how to be effective in communication. And uh, we looked at listening. Um, and uh, uh, the, the importance of uh, communication and also particularly listening is that uh, it has a direct impact on our relationships, right? Whatever relationships it could be. It could be uh, family. It could be friends. It could be um, work, ministry. So it has... Uh, impact it influences and it impacts so therefore we took time to look at it and how we can be effective in our communication how we can improve ourselves and we looked at listening okay and uh, how we can be better uh, at listening and what we should avoid like interrupting you know drifting off um, and being distracted like looking at other things trying to solve the problem thinking of answers and you know, all those things uh, we said you know that we can uh, if we uh, make that adjustment then we will be effective listeners we'll be better at listening right so these are things that we could do in order to improve our listening skills and particularly uh, because uh, you know most of us are in some form of you know uh, or aspiring to be in ministry or you know a, a ministry support related function it will it will help right we'll be dealing with people right uh, and uh, and when we deal with people all this is so very very important it it comes into play right okay so today we'll look at uh, uh, the next chapter and even before that i just want to you know talk about the resources that we've been given okay resources when you when you look at uh, the word resource um, what comes to your mind? You know, what is your understanding of the word resource? Okay, what comes to your mind? Uh, what is a resource? Okay, anyone? What is a resource? We say, you know, it's a good resource uh, or, you know, and things like that. What is what is a resource? Anyone? When, okay, something which can be used, okay. Um, something, is it anything that can be used, which is called a resource? Yeah, that's part of it, Dave. Um, so it, it, definitely it is something that can be used. Uh, but it is uh, for a for a purpose, obviously, uh, something that can be uh, you know something that can be used. And uh, um, 
it is actually a stock you know uh, a stock of something right uh, when you say a resource something that is in a supply or stock uh, or stock of uh, it could be uh, it could be money you know like uh, Aaron has said money it could be money it could be uh, uh, material right it could be uh, material it could be money it could be uh, I don't know for you know so somebody in the hotel industry uh, uh, the, the resources would be of course money and and, and all the you know ingredients uh, the gas supply right um, you know that's you know all these things anything that helps okay yeah that's uh, very yeah There's that I think that kind of uh, uh, covers you know like just brings everything uh, under one you know category like anything that helps carry out something uh, when we say somebody is resourceful that means that uh, that person is able to because of uh, you know what experience they bring or what they're able to give they're able to help that situation you know make something effective so resource okay so we look at oh, okay money we look at wisdom uh, knowledge experience right uh, material things non-material things, uh, all these things, these are resources. You know, the learning is a resource. Uh, special ability or talent, you know, that's a resource. Um, and uh, oh, well, all this, are, all these are resources. Uh, human, human beings, like right? we say HR, like human resource, right? Uh, the thing that people bring to an organization or a ministry the the abilities they or the tasks that they can perform right in order to help achieve the goal okay so human resource um hrm is human resource management right how do we manage this resource and similarly you know like we look at money and humans and so on you know we, we need to understand that time is also a resource okay uh, so so often neglected or, uh, or we think we have lots of it right that's not true um, we it, it is you know it is limited and it is uh, it is a resource time is a resource because we you know we can have everything but if you don't have time then we cannot obviously carry out certain tasks right we can't carry out a project if you say okay i don't have any time okay then you cannot so time also is a very very valuable resource and and the fact is that uh, it's a gift from god you know like uh, like karan was saying you know wisdom and knowledge from god time is also you know something that god has given us and um, uh, he has given to us so it, the the sooner we understand and realize that hey it's this is a resource then I need to that I need to use well, right? This is the resource that I need to use well. I need to utilize it. Then, uh, then we will be mindful of it. Then we'll be uh, you know mindful, aware of it, and we will use it well. Okay. Um, uh, I just want to refer to one uh, you know scripture, which uh, which is Ephesians five. You know, if you can go there. Ephesians 5, let me just uh, try and project this. I'll see if I can. Mm. Okay. Um. Okay, let's see. Um, can you see this? Yes. Um. Just put it on the chat if you can see it, or can you see this uh, scripture that I've put? Okay, okay, yeah. So, um, so we see Ephesians five verses seventeen to eighteen. Um, the instruction is that uh, Paul is writing to the Ephesian church. He's saying, "See that you walk circumspectly, okay, not as fools." Oops. Um, you're not able to see it now? Okay. 
right? Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Okay, see that you walk circumspectly. So circumspectly means um, you understand, you you think about what you're, how you're going to live. Okay, walk circumspectly. You know the Bible uses the term walk, run, to talk about our life, right? How how we need to live our life. It says run with endurance. You know, meaning that okay, it's a we're all in this uh, you know life, and it's it's like a race that we run. So run with endurance. Throw away those you know Hebrews. Uh, Twelve talks about that. Right? Throw away those unnecessary things that are uh, pulling you down and run with endurance, looking to Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. So, um, so it talks about our life. So here we see this advice: walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. You know, you be mindful of the choices you make. Um, my, be mindful of uh, you know what, uh, how you're going to live, redeeming the time. Okay, uh, meaning that you live. See, time cannot be redeemed, right? Actually, if you look at it, once you've, uh, you know, these this 50 minutes, once it's gone, it's gone, right? You cannot get back this 50 minutes of this Thursday, right? On this Thursday, which is second September, you can't get back. It can be some other Thursday, and it can be some other 50 minutes, but it's it's we cannot get these 50 minutes 50 minutes back, right? It's it's gone. But uh, what Paul is saying is, you know, you walk carefully, uh, walk, uh, be mindful of, in, walk intentionally, carefully. Uh, in other words, he's saying circumspectly. Think about what you're doing. Think about how you're living. And it will be as if you're redeeming, you know, uh, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let me stop sharing this. So, so Paul... Um, gives us that instruction and so we know that okay time is a resource and uh is here's something that uh, here's something that we see scripture see uh you know we see the wisdom in scripture and how we used to how we need to use our resource or how we need to live our life with this resource called time okay okay let's look at um if you have your notes you can follow we're looking at um, chapter six which is management of time so we can manage it in order to make sure that we spend it well, okay, uh, in, make sure that the, the time that we have, everybody has, you know, 24 hours in a day, and uh, every hour has 60 minutes, every minute has 60 seconds, and so there's no change in that. Right? It's it's the constant for everyone, but it's uh, we see that um, you know some people are able to use their time very well. Right. So within that 24 hours, they're able to uh, achieve a lot more or do a lot more, uh, finish a lot more tasks than the others. Okay. So, so what, is the, what is the difference? It is just that they are able to manage their time well. Okay. So the uh, time is a resource uh, and it's the, it's in, uh, it, it's the same. It's a constant for everyone. Uh, but people are able to, those who manage their time, those who utilize, plan and utilize their time well, are able to uh, get a lot of things done and get uh, and use their time well. Okay. So, uh, so here we are going to look at you know, how do we manage manage time, you know. Uh, some people are, by nature, they have the ability to manage their time well in the sense they do not waste time. They are mindful of how they spend their time and, uh, but even if by nature we don't have it, you know, we're not born with that kind of capacity or ability, we can learn these skills, like all the other skills that we've been talking about, interpersonal communication and, and so on. You know. um, so we can um, develop the skill of time management. Okay. So one of the basic things that we need to understand is that, uh, you know, we need to uh, have an understanding of, okay, how, uh, of the tasks that we need to do each day, okay. have an understanding of it. Okay, rather than uh, you know just rush into it, if we can sit and understand what are the tasks that I need to do, right? 
uh, what is you know if we are in ministry what are the ta- tasks that i need to do you know as a pastor as a leader what are the tasks uh, and you know it could be it could be diff- different things you know maybe some of us are not not yet working you know yes still preparing uh, or maybe you you might be doing other things right you, you definitely during the day there are certain things that you do okay in the morning you do this in the afternoon you do this um, you know first half is for bible college and maybe second half you know you have your other tasks to do so sit and think about it and see what are those tasks that i need to do make a list of those tasks is very important okay and uh, that is why we have what we call as a to do list you know we looked at that in christian leadership class um, uh, a to do list or a plan okay and the plan can be for a day it can be for the week it can be for the month or it can be for the year and it's good to have those chunks of time you know uh, so for a year it will be a very uh, you know uh, it will be a very high level view okay this year these are the things that are going that we're going to do you know uh, uh, these are things that i'm going to do as an individual okay in january this is what i want to do in february this is what i want to do so month wise you know we kind of split it and say okay this is what we are going to do see this is what we want to finish or accomplish and in these months right and uh, and then you can go into the weeks go into the days and say okay this day this is what i want to do so and it's good to have it's important to have a to do list what is it that i want to do in in a day and to tick that off okay and in the to do list okay the tasks very tasks that i need to do there will be some tasks that are urgent okay what does it mean that it needs to be done immediately okay these are urgent time bound and it uh, the, the thing is that it could be urgent but it need not be important okay so we need to know the difference uh, because the important tasks will have serious consequences okay if it is not done if it is important if it is not done then the effect of it having not done those tasks will be quite serious very critical right um but not necessarily when it comes to urgent things it could be something could be urgent but if it is not urgent and important it can be done you know it can be avoided also it need not be you know uh, for example uh, you know uh, urgent thing like for example it could be a call it could be a call to some you know you know that when you don't pick up a call uh, you will you know it uh, that's it you will not be able to contact the person you know hey, of course you can call them later but it's an urgent thing you know it's like the call is coming through the phone is ringing and you need to take it then right then and there it kind of demands urgent uh, action right before the phone stops ringing but is it important well you can decide that right maybe it's some telecaller maybe it's a friend calling you can decide okay i don't have to pick it up now i can call this person later okay so it means that it, it seems urgent but then it's it's not important so i can keep it for later okay so uh, you know if you look at uh, page um, page 29 there is that matrix okay let me probably try and project that um let me see okay um okay okay so we have that uh okay we have that matrix it's a priority matrix okay what does it show uh it shows on the left okay or the or the uh, y axis uh it has you know two two categories low importance high importance on the x axis on the horizontal line the vertical line has uh, low importance and high importance at the margin the uh, horizontal line and uh, right below you see uh, high urgency and low urgency okay so different levels of urgency different levels of importance okay so so if something is high in importance and high in urgency okay like this one Okay, this would be the first uh, first block, which is in red, right? Uh, 
So that's the thing that I need to attack first. I need to do it first. I need to act on it first because it's first, uh, it's first in, sorry, um, it's, uh, oops, yeah. So it's first in, uh, it's high, it's ranking very high in importance and it's also urgent. So I do it first. Well, if it's important and if it is lo low when it comes to urgency, then I do it next. Okay, It is important. I should not miss doing it. But it's not as important as this task, right? It is high in importance. So if it is uh, high in importance but low in, when it comes to urgency, then I can do it next and so on. Oh, if it is low in importance and, and very high in urgency, I can do it later. It, it is still you know, doable. I need to do it. But if it is low importance and low in urgency, you know, I can choose not to do it. You know, it's something um, maybe like you know, uh, reading something, maybe uh, going through some social, um, you know, uh, social media stuff. Right? It's it's low urgency, low importance. Uh, I don't miss anything, right? So I can do it when I have the time, or I, I can choose not to do it also. Okay, so so this kind of a priority matrix, if we kind of internalize that, you know, by that I mean, you know, you, you have an understanding. You look at the tasks and you say, okay, is it high in importance? Is it high in urgency? Uh, those are some things that I need to do immediately. Okay, let's say for example, um, you know, these classes. Okay, for me, it's high in importance and high in urgency also, right? So I need to be there to uh, teach. So preparation and everything has to be, you know, prioritized. So I, so everything else comes after the classes for me, right? For me as a teacher. So uh, Bible college classes, though, are, they are of high urgency and high importance. So which means that at this time, I need to send the link and I need to log into the class in order to teach, right? And those fifty minutes are crucial. I need to be able to do it. So these, these are. That will be the first block, the first uh, thing. The other things, uh, which are again, which are important, you know, that could be, let's say, uh, uh, something to do with some recording, some voiceovers, you know, that I might have to do today, or uh, some emails to be sent, some, you know, I might have to get in touch with some, uh, some worship leaders. And so I will do it later. These, these are important, but are not urgent right i can do it after this i need i might have to you know get in touch with some of my colleagues to uh, you know talk about some things um, or return some phone calls because they would have called now my phone is on silent so uh, all that will be uh, the next thing okay so so like that i prioritize uh, we need to prioritize okay so so same like you know uh, like you might be saying okay i don't have so many things to do Right, uh, you might be saying, "Okay, my my calendar is not packed. You know, I, I I'm actually you know in a season where it's all relaxed now. I'm just preparing, so you know, no problem." But you get into the habit of making these lists, making these plans, and and then we will develop a skill, you know, develop this skill of managing time better. Okay, rather than coming to the place where you have to do it, you know, develop it now. You know, upgrade your skill now. Okay. And I'm sure that you we will have many tasks, you know, whether you, whether you're at home and you know there are things to be done, right? There are there's work to be done, um, so it's good that we apply this skill and apply these things to develop this skill. Okay, um, okay. So um, let's look at uh, uh, some of these principles of good time management. Some of these principles, and um, uh, it's good for us to uh, you know again internalize these things right uh, learn these things internalize these things uh, one of the things is to be organized okay keep things tidy or be organized um so what does that mean anyone be organized to keep things tidy what is uh, what picture do you get when you hear the word organize Anyone? 
and then I'll ask the other question, next question. What picture do you get when you when you hear the word organized, organized? Um, church, okay, Kiran, why? Why do you get the picture church? Why do you think of church when you say organized? Everything uh, should orderly and correctly. Uh, uh, yeah, Thomas. Yeah, I can hear. Go ahead. Tell me everything. Should orderly uh, and uh, frames. Orderly, frames, yeah. Orderly, yeah. Orderly and something else you said. Correctly do the things, uh, the things supposed to do, uh, mm -hmm. right things in the right place like that. Okay, so that's a that's a great way of uh, you know right things in the right place. I think that's a very uh, simple way of saying okay, things are organized. You know, uh, like whatever you've put orderly, yeah, Kiran, clean. Okay, all these things come to your mind. Okay, good order arranged yes um, so you know everything in its place okay so that's uh, to be organized everything in its place uh, and uh, to be tidy um, so this will greatly help us right so what are some things uh, that can be organized you know it can be simple things like personally you know it can be simple things like uh, you know our clothes right to be organized, to to put them in, yeah, the bed. Uh, you know, if your clothes are on the bed, <laughs> every time you move the clothes down and then you put back the clothes there, you know, that's not organized, right? That's that's a real pain. Uh, that's a real challenge, right? So, uh, you know, one of the things I do, the first thing I do when I get in the morning is uh, yeah, keeping a room clean, Aaron, very good. Uh, so one of the things I do is make you know, make the bed, right? I I cannot function without making the bed. You know, pillows, just put a blanket if I've used, you know, just uh, wrap it up, uh, arrange it, fold it, and keep it night, neatly. So whether I live in my house or someone else's house, or if I'm staying in a hotel, like I know a hotel, you know, some, some others will come and clean it, but still I have to make that, you know. So in my mind, I don't want any clutter. I don't want anything sloppy. I don't want, you know. So clutter uh, actually interferes with our ability to think. Right? Clutter actually, it's uh, it, it distracts us. You know, maybe if it's um, you know every time if your table where you're working is is full, you know, it's like papers everywhere, uh, pen, paper, you know, books, everything. Then your your mind is focused on that. Your mind is distracted. Okay. So if you can keep things organized, if you can put things like uh, what uh, uh, Thomas shared, you know, write things in the right place. If it is out of place, put things in the place. Then it is, it is, uh, it will greatly help us. You know how? You know, first of all, it it will help us personally. You know, it it just keeps our mind very clear and sharp and focused because it's it's not like things everywhere. You know, they are to distract us, take our focus off. But also, it helps us in retrieving it. Okay. Now, the time that you spend searching for something, you, know, you want to go to church. You know, that morning you get up and you're searching for what to wear. You know, and especially if you're serving in church. You know, if you're on some team, like uh, uh, you know, setting up the audio or you're in a in a, in a worship team, or you know, it, that time is crucial, right? You you need to go early. And here you are searching for the, you know, and then you realize that, oh, this button does not have the button. Or, you know, this sleeve is this thing. And then, so then you realize, oh, this is not ironed. And then, you know, all these things, we can avoid all these things if we can keep things in uh, and be organized. And maybe, you know, iron these things a day early or two days early and put them in a hanger and keep it so that you just need to pick it up and wear it. Okay. So, Clothes are clothes, and uh, when you, uh, especially when it comes to work professionally, you know, our our work things, 
like when it comes to books, uh, papers that are filed or several other files, you know, if you're working in accounts, uh, especially, you know, you can't be searching every time. Okay, what about, you know, 2015 bills? Uh, you know, it has to be in a file, uh, labeled and kept away so that you can retrieve it immediately and you don't have to waste time. Right. So this is this helps us in minimizing the time to and, and helps us in using that time to do important tasks, tasks that require our time and effort. And it should not be spent, you know, searching for things. And, um, you know, especially when it comes to, uh, you know, your computers and all of us use computers, all of us, maybe, uh, you know, uh, at work, you will use your laptops and, um, you know, so where are those things filed you know sometimes you you look at some people's desk you know the desktop the opening screen and you're like wondering you know how are they going to find these things because it's all there all the files are there like one big puzzle right every time they open it it's like everything is there so you know can we arrange it in folders can we give the folders a meaningful name right a name that it, and not a folder like uh, you know abc name like ABC or one, two, three, right? Because then again, it doesn't uh, make sense. You know, what you forget today, you remember what is ABC, the file file name, but then tomorrow you'll, you, you'll forget what, what does that contain? So giving it a meaningful name, a name, a, 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 a name that conveys what is actually in it, like a, a name like resume or, you know, a, the date, Right. And then you know that, okay, this is what it is. Okay, so um, something like that would really help us um, uh, retrieve things. Okay, um, okay. so let, let me just uh, share this picture here. Okay, so, okay, so, you know, this is, um, so you see that, Okay, this is uh, somebody's folder. Somebody's. Uh, I, I, I have a feeling this is past ashes. Okay, so this is there in uh, one of our uh, resources. So you see, you know, year-wise, and uh, there are folders, and each folder has a lot of subfolders, and each of those folders are some tasks, or it is uh, referring to, you know, some area of work or some area of ministry, uh, and so on, right? So, several things, and each of these folders again uh, have files. Okay, like for example, this particular folder obviously has the, you know, files, and of all the messages, it has the Word doc, it has the, um, you know, uh, it has the sermon. Uh, outline it has the the PDF is the sermon outline and it has the doc also uh, I mean word doc also then it has a PowerPoint and so on so you see you know one title has you know these uh, let's say if you look at um, if you can see my cursor uh, 2010 to 14 so it's 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 uh, named this way the year the month and the day and the day in which it was actually preached Okay, and the title uh, of the sermon, and then you know the word doc, which is outline, and the, uh, the PDF, which goes on the website, and the you know the PowerPoint file, which is used for projection. So, so you see that. So it's very clear. So all you need to know is you know if you know the Sunday, you can go there, date, or you know the name of the sermon, uh, you know you can access it, and it it's all done. It just takes a few seconds to. Uh, you know, do that. So, you know, when we keep our files, when we keep our material, our work material filed away in this manner, it helps us. You know, it helps us immensely, especially when work grows. Okay, and um, uh, and also one of the things that uh, that we need to really, uh, apart from our work files and so on, is our inbox, meaning our emails. Okay, now in a in a work uh, scenario you send official emails you receive official emails and so we need to arrange it and keep it uh, in, in a in a proper way right so uh, I learned this early on so um, to my um, inbox is uh, okay let me just try and see what is there um, so my inbox would have about maybe 
10 males uh, or okay let me just see how many are there okay my inbox has about okay do i get a count of it somewhere is actually sending and receiving something. Okay, uh, so at the most, I think it would have about ten emails because I have been put into several folders. Okay, I I just keep uh, once I finish reading, when I, once I finish, uh, you know, uh, acting on that, or I need, I might have to respond to it. I might have to uh, do something based on that email. Maybe somebody sends an inquiry, uh, inquiry about you know, uh, about a Sunday service, inquiry about uh, maybe they're getting married and they want to know what is the procedure. So once I finish that, I put that in, you know, related folders. Okay, so the folders are, again, uh, divided according to ministries. And uh, so I have one for events where, you know, Stephen takes care of events. So I have a folder called events. So whatever event-related emails or emails from uh, from Stephen, uh, they go into that, so I, I can easily access that. So this really helps us. You know, it's just common sense, but um, you know, when we uh, do this, it really saves us a lot of trouble because you could have you know hundreds and hundreds of mails over a period of years, right? And then it keeps piling on. And uh, for someone who's been working for maybe uh, you know, if you've been working in an organization for a long time, let's say you know, for even you know, even for a year, there's so much of correspondence emails coming in and you need to you know file it away okay so let's move on to another thing so um so you keep things tidy you keep things organized okay um the second thing is uh, you know doing things at the right time in the sense the second one would be you know picking the right time or moment picking the right moment it's there in the notes i'm just putting it here picking the moment to do the task Okay, so you understand, each one of us have, um, you know, the, our best time when we when we are sharper, when our most productive time. Right? For some, it could be late night. Uh, for some, it could be uh, you know early morning. Uh, for some, it could be afternoon. You know, whatever. You know, they function better that way. And there's no right or wrong. Okay, so the most difficult task, you know, tasks that really require us to think and analyze and t require a lot out of us, we can actually schedule for those moments. But we need to also consider, you know, uh, the other factors like uh, maybe the team that is involved, you know, it's like, for example, if that task would mean that uh, I have to interact with certain people, okay, you have to interact with the, the maybe the, the media team, for example. Now, I cannot keep it till the end of the day, or maybe I can't keep it till midnight, because then nobody's working, right? Suppose I need some information to finish that task, or uh, I finish the task and I need to send it, and then I need to need them to respond. I cannot keep it till midnight. I must do it during the work time. Okay, so you understand? Okay, between between nine and between whatever seven, you know, what is what is the best time to do? these kind of tasks what is the best time to call people and talk to them what is the best time to have these meetings what is the best time to sit quietly and analyze and you know plan ahead you choose you know you, you're the best judge for that uh, but you realize that and then you do it okay the other thing the third one is um okay don't procrastinate okay don't procrastinate what does procrastinate mean Procrastinate means to uh, to put away, right? To postpone, to delay in doing certain things. You know, like certain things. There is a wisdom in delaying and not really jumping in and doing it immediately. Maybe you want to wait and see, right? Uh, there's wisdom in that. Uh, maybe you want to, uh, you know, you want to get some information, additional information. So you want to wait. That's fine. But if for all tasks, you know, if we end up procrastinating, that is postponing, then there's a problem, right? So we need to ask ourselves, uh, why am I delaying this? And be truthful about it, right? Why am I delaying making this phone call? Maybe, you know, it's an unpleasant thing to do, right? In the sense, uh, maybe I that person whom I'm supposed to call, you know, not a very nice person or it's a difficult conversation that i need to have uh so maybe that's why i've been you know delaying you know i don't know how that person will respond you know things like that 
Okay, so ask yourself, you know, why am I delaying this? You know, is it because it's very difficult task? Uh, then I need to start somewhere, right? Or I don't know how to do it. Maybe that's why I keep delaying it. Could be very many reasons, right? Or I don't know if uh, I don't know where to start. Okay, so which means that we actually need to take help. We need to consult, ask people, ask the experts, um, get help in order to start doing the task, right? So um, there could be many reasons why people postpone uh, or put away certain things. It could be some important decision. It could be some decision about money. It could be some decision about marriage. It could be some decision about, you know, many other things, right? Why are you putting it off? You know, ask that question and, um, and you know, uh, and, and be honest about that answer and deal with it. Okay, we need to deal with it. Okay, maybe you're saying that I'm putting it off because uh, I don't like that job. <laughs> you know, I don't like the task. Okay, then the question is, why is it that you don't like the task? Uh, oh, because uh, I feel uh, I'm not better. I'm not. I, I'm. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at that task, so I don't like the task. So I keep putting it off. Okay, then, then the answer is, of course, we need to get better at it. How can I get better at that task? Find out. And, uh, you know, maybe we need to do a course. Maybe we need to ask someone to help us uh, and do that. Right. So, so don't procrastinate. If you're procrastinating, find out. If you're postponing something, delaying something, find out why. Okay. The other thing I mean, when it comes to, you know, principles of time management is don't try to multitask. Okay. What is multitasking? Anyone? Two, two, three works up together. Okay. So, yeah. So you're trying to do two, three things uh, at the same time or multiple tasks at the same time. You know, you're, you're like listening to a song, trying to read a book and trying to answer someone on the phone. Right. Uh, how many things can you do at a time? Right. Even though, you know, our, um, yeah, some of our, you know, maybe we are very capable, able, a mind can actually only do one thing at a time, you know, uh, it can only do one thing at a time. So it kind of divides our attention. Uh, we think we are doing it. Okay, we think we are able to do it, but then actually, no, it actually, our mind focuses on this for some time and on that for some time and on and the other thing at some other time where so that's how we you know, do so multitasking really doesn't help us because it um, we end up doing a very mediocre job okay it's it uh, it doesn't help us to excel in anything we might you know just pass we might just get by in in those tasks right it's when we try to multitask we might just get by okay or uh, you know, just that minimum thing that is required, we might be able to do, okay, because we're not able to give that focus and attention, which is required to excel at the task, right? So, uh, so what is the answer? You know, what is the solution? You know, if you say, but you might say, you know, I have so many things to do, right? I have so many things to do, I can't help but multitask. Okay. So the thing is, like what we said earlier, you know, uh, prioritize it. urgent important what is high in urgency what is high in importance prioritize it break down and categorize it so that we can have a list and you know we can do that okay yes we understand that you know sometimes when we miss doing these tasks you know that's when it happens right when we miss doing certain things and then we have only one hour and so many things need to be finished within that one hour then we are kind of panicking, you know, we, we, we kind of, uh, you know, we're getting so overwhelmed. Okay. So, so uh, we try to do these things and try to do all these things at the same time and end up doing something which is average or below average. Okay. So don't multitask. And the, the fifth one is, uh, you know, the, when you're in a position of multitasking, which means that things are really going haywire, things are, uh, uh, you know, uh, reached a stage where uh, it's just beyond our control, seems to go beyond our control. And it's then that we need to stay calm. 
okay not lose control not lose control of ourselves stay calm and uh, maybe you know sometimes we just need to rest we just need to rest i remember having conversation you know sometimes saying that um, you know just rest here yeah, just sleep rest get some and then our mind will be fresh to focus uh, and think think through and solve that problem okay so uh, we need to stay calm okay um okay so these are some some things that would really help us um uh, these are some basic principles right that would really help us to uh, manage our times um i just also want to um uh you know share a couple of other things uh, let me just present it here um okay so um, the other thing is uh, when we have to manage time we have to uh, yeah kanan is saying half my screen is google meet half will be <laughs> bible class bible or class pdf okay yeah i hope you're not doing that right now <laughs> uh, i mean yeah you can of course split the screen to you know look at your notes and all that uh, but then if you're trying to do too many so one watching one video and watching uh, you know also attending class then that won't help right okay uh so in ecclesiastes 10 10 okay if the axe is dull and one does not sharpen the edge that he must use more strength but wisdom brings success so what does it mean that it means that you know if the tools that we are using are not effective then we need to improve the tools that we are using okay so if it's a knife it needs to be sharp the same way if uh, you know if i'm going to take a lot of time to put together a powerpoint presentation Yeah, that could be a very you know to to write one letter to send one email you know i'm i'm just struggling at it now i need to get better at doing it in half the time or maybe one third of the time right so so these are tasks routine tasks you know it and uh, we cannot um, you know it means my grammar has to improve my language has to improve my communication has to, written communication has to improve so if i um you know do something to improve that then my work time will be very productive i won't spend i remember earlier on you know i was just uh, i used to spend a lot of time in the uh you know just to put together a, a, you know a powerpoint presentation or a, or an email or you know excel i'm just trying to figure out and uh, and i realized that i was wasting a lot of time you know, to send one email out i'm thinking with is it correct is it wrong you know and spending too much time on it so i need to get better at it right so and then and then it really helped uh, work being productive okay so improve the skills then it will help okay what's the other thing uh, use tools use uh, you know use certain shortcuts okay not shortcuts in the sense of uh, you know shortcuts that will um, help us uh, you know that will not help us when it comes to uh you know uh shortcuts to success you know but really these are uh, things that we can do for example you know uh if you have a template you can reuse it when i say template it means okay let's say you're sending a welcome letter or a thank you letter for someone who sends a contribution okay that happens right in ministry now all you need to do is the content you know if you've thought through and written and you've really expressed you know um, gratitude and for the you know whatever the help they have sent then all you need to do is change the name right especially if you ha- have to be sending them you know five or 10 thank you letters then it helps if you just have a standard letter and you change the name right or maybe it's a welcome letter or or maybe it's a letter to the vendor Know, you know saying that i need this services i need the product quote and all that you have a you know a, a template that will help right so uh, reuse something okay we looked at that for organizing filing things okay um using our time for the most important things and breaking the tasks so you finish the longest part okay uh, staying mentally and physically fit is very important because it will help us to because when we are you know you you've seen it right when we are sick fix is longer to do certain things when there's aches and pains right your uh, your body is not cooperating you take longer 
you know, I remember in, you know when when I was having joint pain and uh, because of uh, gout, it it'll take me a long time just to go and have my bath and you know get dressed because it'll be so painful just to put on a shirt. You know, I just need to make sure that I do it slowly and right. So, but, but the thing is to if we are keeping ourselves fit physically, mentally, emotionally, right, um, then we are able to do these tasks well, you know, starting the day with prayer, spending time in prayer, and, uh, you know, getting it all sorted, like emotionally, you know, maybe there are some challenges, things that have been worrying you, and you spend, it, spend time in prayer, and God, you know, gives that solution, God gives the answer, then we are in a better frame of mind to start the day, and start the tasks for the day, right? And the other thing is to, uh, we're just done here, I'm, I'm sure, uh, I'm going a little extra, but uh, just one minute, to leverage teamwork and delegation, okay? There are some things that we need to delegate to others, okay? Now, these are things that are maybe low in importance, low in urgency, but still you feel that it needs to be done. Or maybe it's uh, urgent, but not very important, and you feel that others can do it, okay? And where you can focus on something else, which only you need to do, only you can do, then you can delegate it to others, okay? and um, and let the team do it, right? Okay. This is about prayer and, uh, you know, wisdom and, uh, you know, uh, tapping into the wisdom of God, tapping into the revelation um, that God has and, uh, and uh, which is revealed by the Holy Spirit. So it doesn't have to be our natural skill and talent and ability, but it can be, you know, the gifts in operation. Uh, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, and tapping into the supernatural wisdom that's available for us, and God gives it to us, right? Um, and James chapter 1 talks about that, says that if any of you lack wisdom, you ask him, and he gives to all without reproach, okay? Okay, um, so invite God into, you know, all the tasks and all the um, things that we are doing, right? And, uh, and we'll see uh, the success in it. Now, we lean not on our own understanding, but we commit these to God, who will establish our thoughts. You know, Proverbs 16 talks about that, right? Okay, so uh, we looked at some principles. Let's apply it. Let's, uh, you know, some of the basic things. Let's do it and uh, and see, you know, uh, our management of time uh, being effective. Um, but we need to first start considering time as a resource, you know, considering time as a gift, time, considering time as a resource, something very valuable, important, so that we don't squander it, waste it, but we uh, or waste it, but we spend it well. Okay. Okay. So all the best. I hope you have an exciting time putting these principles, uh, applying these in the coming days. Okay. Thank you. We'll meet again next week. God bless. Thank you, Pastor. Right. Thank you, sir. See you. Bye-bye, Karen. Bye, Manu. Take care.